Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back to another episode of Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror. And I have no idea what to do, so let's try and use everything, I guess. Um, I think we need to use this elevator. The cap was attached to the lift engine by a chain. But we might need power to this. The button didn't seem to do anything. Button doesn't do anything. This lever doesn't do anything. The button didn't seem to do anything. No. I can't take off the fuel cap. Can I force it with my dagger? No. With the cards? Why not? No cards. With the stone. No stones. With the metal cylinder. It was a small screw fit cylindrical housing. With sunglasses. Hair grip. Handbag. A key. No. Maybe some underpants. Let me get a hint. Yeah, is there another way up? Yeah, I gotta find that way up. Generator. It was an old electricity generator. It looked like a fuel line. Can I tamper with it? No. Can I cut it? Aha! Now there's some fuel going. Can I fill the cylinder with the... Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Use it on the fuel cap here. Oh, so I... So why was it preventing me from... Why does it have a... Picking up... Um, cursor here. I can't pick it up, it's not meant to be picked up. The motor spluttered into life. Okay, got a motor. What now? Does it go up? The engine stopped dead. Okay, this turns on the engine. The motor spluttered into life. The engine was working okay, but it wasn't connected to the equipment lift. Ah, okay, so let's turn it off. The engine stopped dead. Let's get the lever back here. And let's use this rope. Rope on the engine. No? It's not connected to the lift. Oh, I could do stuff up here. No. The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. So why can't I use the, the rope? Scaffold, the scaffold... What the hell? Maybe I need to combine the rope with something else? Cylinder? No. It was a length of strong rope. Yes, I got it. I hate how she puts the rope down and then she like shrugs and eh, can't use it. Couldn't you say that before putting the rope down? So what is this, what is this message again? The motor spluttered into life. The engine was working okay, but it wasn't connected to the equipment lift. It's not connected, so how can I connect it? The engine stopped dead. Can you give me some help? There was nothing I wanted to ask him. Of course not. Can I try this again? 
Will it magically work? No, it won't. The scaffold gun. It's not connected to the equipment lift. The engine looked like it was supposed to power the lift. Yes, I got that. It's not connected. How can I connect it? Connected how? It's not plugged in? Is, there a, is it a physical connection? Like some kind of belt or maybe a rope? Rope on the lever? No. Come on, this can't be that hard. Anything that makes sense. Let's see. Can I use this generator? No. It was an old. Yes, I know, Nico. Um. Hmm. Can I combine anything with the rope? Underpants. Let's just try it. Underpants, key. No key. Stone. Yeah, these stones never do anything. Handbag. Hair grip. Sunglasses. Tube. Tube? No tube. Dagger. What the hell do I do with the rope? I can't seem to tie it anywhere. Oh, does it? Okay. I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffolding and throw it over the top. Rope. That works. Now we're getting somewhere. Go on, uh, Ntiripoko. Yeah, now I can get this to work. Perfect. Rope on the engine. Aha! Okay, I think we're in business. The motor spluttered into life. Unless I need the uh, Tiripoko to. Yeah. He needs to use the lever and not me. Otherwise, I can't get up there. Yo, Tiripoko! Tiripoko, when I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Couldn't you just tell him to pull the lever instead of... Hey, copy what I'm doing! Okay? Copy. Here we go. Oh, George, this is a sight. I realized those bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over my dead body. Oh, my prediction was correct. Someone is getting sacrificed. Just, it's George and not Nico. Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon, and Karzak will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice Georges. Shut up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul. Why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobart. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. 
Hey, Raoul. I'm warning you. Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped George wouldn't push him too far. Ammunition belt. Okay, I have an ammunition belt. Now what? There were a few sealed crates and drums. None of them looked like they might be useful. It smelled coppery, like blood. The whole place stank like an abattoir. An incense pot. It was Pablo, Karzak's right-hand sadist. General Raul Graziento. I didn't fancy Raul's chances once Karzak didn't need him anymore. It was a stone table. Given the history of the place, I wondered how many poor wretches had lost their lives and hearts upon it. Okay, so what do we do now? I have the ammo belt. Oh, can I place it in the incense pot? I couldn't spot? get the belt into the flames without Pablo seeing me. Can I get George to distract Pablo? Kazak and his pet vermin had got George tied to the sacrificial table. I had to come up with a plan or he was as good as dead. I might have been able to talk the general around if Pablo hadn't been there. If Pablo had seen me, he'd have killed me. It was as simple as that. The crates and drums were sealed and I had no way of getting into them. Huh. How do I do this? I have an ammo belt. Can I just if hit Pablo? Pablo had seen me, he'd have killed me. It was as simple as that. Can I go down? I can go down. Why? Can I get Tidipoku's help? There was nothing I wanted to ask him. That's interesting. Why? Would there be an option for me to come down here? Oh, can I do something with this fuel? Maybe soak the underpants? And throw them into the fire up there? Maybe not. Soak the ammo. The fuel from the severed line had formed a pool. Maybe if I get uh, some fire. Oh, can I get some fire up there? Light the underpants. Here we go. I couldn't get near the pot unseen. Damn it. I wasn't going to risk being caught walking back down the stairs. How do I distract them? That wouldn't work. If Pablo had seen me, he'd have... Hmm. No, that's... Damn, can, can I get George to distract them somehow? No. No. So what's my hint? Yeah, how can I create the diversion? That's my problem. I wasn't going to risk be Maybe throw something down the stairs. I, I, I don't want you to go down the stairs. I wanted to use to drop something down the stairs. I wasn't go I'm surprised they didn't even notice this elevator. There's not a lot of stuff here. There's only the slab, the general, Pablo, the pot, and the boxes. And the steps. If Pablo had seen well, I don't care if, if he Pablo sees you, just seen... throw something at him. If Pablo had... No, that Can I combine this with something? No. 
I don't. Come on, collar. Think. That. W no. That. No. That was no good. That Can I even do something up here? Uh. Uh. No. Maybe not. Okay, let's head down again. There has to be something. However, that something isn't obvious. And I have the option to come back down for some reason. Why is that? I really I didn't want to talk to them. Yeah, no talking to the guards. There's also this torch here. Oh, now I can pick it up. I wasn't able to pick it up earlier. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. Nothing's on fire. Can't use it on the fuel or the generator. Maybe give it to Tiripoco or bring it on the elevator. Hold on, Nick. Come on, this would be a lot easier. Bring the damn torch up the elevator, use it at a safe distance and get some fire and then... I don't know. Can't combine anything with the torch. Hmm. What is this for? Oh, give it to Tiripoco. Why? Tiripoco, do you still have that lighter gun you pull on me so amusingly? Oh, he has a lighter gun! That's right. Forgot that. Okay, that seems a good enough What's distraction. Going on over there? Do you need help, my pretty? Nothing's wrong. I dropped uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. Okay, let's head up there. Not exactly the distraction I had in mind, but it works. No distraction yet? What? I wasn't going to risk being caught walking back down the stairs. The fuel's on fire. And no one noticed? Oh, this doesn't really do much. No way was I going to touch the fire. Self-immolation isn't my style. The fuel was burning violently. Can I... Oh, ammo. We're under attack. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Keep it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Dover doesn't pull any tricks. If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. What is this over here? On top of this crate? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Now there's... I guess it's nothing. It's only Raul now. Guess I could speak with him. Hey there, General. Drop the gun or I shoot! Please, oh. don't hurt me! That don't was easy. Yourself. My finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free. 
and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubier, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubier is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoco. Oh, he's here? Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. W when did Tilipoko get here? Hold still, George. I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on! Okay, what now? We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. I know, Tiripoko. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. Does George still have the you other stone? to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. Georges? Yeah? There was nothing I wanted to talk to Georges about just then. I don't know, I kind of like to ask him what did he do, um, how he got captured or something, but... Oh, never mind. Oh, there are two levers here and a pattern. This was a time for action, not talk. There was a large image on the wall of a man in ceremonial garb. More usefully, there were also a couple of levers. There's nothing else, right? The lever was made of stone. And the other one? The lever was made of stone. On the wall was an intricate pattern in blue and gold. Guess I can check these out. The pattern seemed to have only religious significance. The pattern meant nothing to me. By the door was a pattern picked out in blue. I guess the patterns aren't important, so let's try the levers. Oof! The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. Now they probably need to move both. Heave! Still no good. Hey George, could you give me a hand here? George? Yeah? George, I can only pull one lever at a time and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. Time for some teamwork. Well... That wasn't good teamwork. Raoul, 
There's something suspicious. Go this sacrifice. Where is it? Nico was here with Titi Poco. They set him free. I, I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Titi Poco's gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease this Catlipoca. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so. And I'm glad. What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you and Karzak with that devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice show. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! This Catlipoca can feed upon his yellow heart. Nico was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Oh, tiles we're not dead. And dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. The chute I'd arrived on was too steep and slippery to get back up. Okay, so George and Tidi Poco are it not was here. It great stone head that had spat me out. It reminded me of an ex-boyfriend. On both counts. So they must have be, they must have gone out some other way. There's a giant Mayan machine. Oh boy! This feels like a very convoluted puzzle. Oh, I'm surprised this isn't anything I can use. There was a statue of a monkey. Some sort of religious significance? The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. There were several tiles with glyphs on them. Way too many tiles. The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. And this is the same, I take it? It was the great disc machine. Can I use it? I can. I can turn both. Oh, how do I find out the code, though? And there are the tiles. What can I do with the tiles? Can I do anything with the tiles? The tile didn't want to move. The tiles don't move. The tile didn't want to move. All of them. The tile didn't... The tile... The tile... The tile... Let's make sure. The tile didn't... The tile... The tile... The tile didn't... The tile... The tile. The tile. The tile. What about these? What about the monkey tiles? The tile didn't move. The tile. Di the tile. The tile. The tile and the tile. Okay, the tiles do not move. Maybe the tiles themselves are the combination. Let's see. We have several symbols here. They seem incomplete, though. For example, this X has a little something above it. The same with this. Kind of a flower thing has something else above it. This thing has this above it. Hmm. Do I need to complete them somehow? Yes. These are the things that would go above these symbols. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I might have a general idea of what to do here. But for now, it's time to end the episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed some more Broken Sword 2. 
and I'll see you all next time.